it's Shalisha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am back again and this time I'm coming at you guys with a haul. If you follow me on Snapchat then you know that I went to Atlanta a few weeks ago um, and I purchased a number of things while I was there so I thought I'd show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got was actually this bralette. I'm sure you guys have seen this bralette everywhere. Everyone on Instagram has this bra. It's a Calvin Klein sports bra and this retailed for $28. Now although it is a sports bra it doesn't really have too much support. I figured it'll be nice just to wear around the house or um I wouldn't even work out in this just because like I said it doesn't have support but just to wear around the house or to lounge in. I think this is just loungewear or even to go to sleep in. The next thing I actually got was um, from Forever 21. It was this top here. Looks like this. It's a casual t-shirt. Just a casual shirt. And this was $8.90. While in Forever, I also got two pairs of shoes. Um, flats. Flats are a must-have, especially if you work in an office like I do. Um, I figured this would be perfect for office wear and also just to wear out and about. Flats are just easy. You just throw them on and go. Um, so yeah, I got a pair of burgundy ones and of course black flats. Like you can never have enough black flats. They go with everything. And I did have a pair before but they were worn out literally because black flats I just put them on with literally every outfit when I go to work so I got a new pair and these flats are so affordable they're $15.90 each um, so yeah if you're looking for affordable flats just for work or everyday wear I do suggest buying some from Forever 21 they have a variety of colors and patterns also H&M and um, Express they have really nice flats too the next piece I got was actually from Top Shop. Now this was my first time in Top Shop. I love the store. I fell in love as soon as I walked through the door. I have purchased from Top Shop before, but it was from Nordstrom. It really reminds me of almost like an upscale Forever 21. Um, of course the prices aren't Forever 21 because they're a little more pricey. But one of the things that stood out for me was this vest. It's so cute. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Looks like this. This is actually a size 8. I am not a size 8. However, I like certain things to fit oversized. I just feel as though having your clothing pieces or some pieces oversized in your wardrobe, it just adds a different sort of look to it. Um, so yeah. So I could have purchased this in my normal size but I decided to go at least two sizes up on it just because I figured it just looks so cool oversized and because I got it oversized I can even wear it as a dress. I wear with this this with high waist jeans and just a basic white cami or tank top something really simple and some flat. This was an investment piece. <laughs> this was $95.00. So I'm so in love with this piece. I think this is literally my favorite thing that I brought home from there. So, so cute. I love it. Now speaking of flats, after I saw the vest, I ran into a pair of shoes in Topshop. And it's these here. How cute are these? And these were $30, which I think is worth it. But I thought this would be a nice pop to go with that green vest or just any sort of outfit. This would be a nice pop. And they are pointed toe and they're just so sleek and cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Like, this is a statement shoe. Now, the last piece of clothing was actually from another store that I visited for the first time, which is Zara. To me, all over social media, especially YouTube, when I see other people do hauls, they always talk about Zara. Like, it is just a must-see store. And I was not impressed. Like, I was so let down. I don't know if it was because they were having, like, a huge sale. Like, they were having some sort of sale and the store was a freaking mess. Like it looked like a tornado hit. I don't even know. It just looked like it was going out of business. I'm not sure if they were going out of business. I don't know. It was just a mess. They are a little pricey. Uh, a little. They are pricey. <laughs> but again, they were having a sale. I only purchased one thing from there and again, it was like a must-have item for me. It was actually a jumper. 
or overalls. Really basic. This long jeans. These overalls, they were originally $69.90, but I got them for $25.99. I figure overalls and jumpers, they're just like a piece that will never go out of style. So yeah, that was actually the last piece of clothing that I purchased. And now let's just jump into the makeup I got, which is the exciting part. I got makeup from Sephora, MAC, and also Topshop had makeup as well. Um, I think that was all the makeup places I went to. Okay, so now that we're up close and personal, um, these are the lashes that I got from MAC. They're the 33 lash. Yep, they're the 33 lashes. These are literally my one of my favorite lashes from MAC. But yeah, that's what I got from MAC. And that was the only thing that I got from MAC. Now, the next thing that I got was from Sephora. I actually went into Sephora twice. Um, but the first time I went into Sephora, I actually purchased some Anastasia Beverly Hill products. This was my first purchase from Sephora in general, which may sound a little weird, being as though I like makeup. So this was the first two things that I got. And I got a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick i want to show you both so the first one that i um that stood out to me was the liquid lipstick and it's in the shade rio which is almost the color of my wall back there it looks like this how freaking cute it's literally well it's a little lighter um in the tube it actually looks lighter but once you swatch it it's a little deeper more the color of my wall i'm a sucker for anything pink and neon and again bright colors so yeah that's the color there it doesn't smell like anything to me i know a lot of liquid lipsticks have fragrances this one doesn't really have a fragrance in the next thing I got from Anastasia was the lip gloss in the shade Venom which is a deep berry color and you guys before I show you this gloss let me tell you I'm not a gloss person but when I saw this I said I need it it is this baby here it's like a deep deep berry color and it has a little bit of pink glitter in it hello the feeling of it it's not thick at all like it's really light for a gloss people weren't lying about these glosses now the gloss to me has a little bit of a smell it smells good but it's not too strong so now another thing i got was a mark jacobs lipstick and liner i actually received this for free um because i signed up and as a beauty insider and because my birthday is in the month of july you get a free gift and it comes with a little lipstick and a liner if i can open it so here's the lipstick look how tiny it is it's smaller than my pinky <laughs> looks like this so you guys can see it's really like a natural pink then the liner is the marc jacobs eyeliner a lot of people use this liner and it's just like a really creamy black like you saw how easy that was and you guys once this thing dries it doesn't move now the last thing that i got from sephora was actually the last time that i went back to sephora um it was one of the moon dust shadows by urban decay and i was stuck between three shades if you saw my snapchat i could not decide so i finally decided to get the shade solstice or solstice I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I was skeptical about getting this because to me, when I was in the store, I wasn't sure if it was similar to the blue brown pigment and I already had that so I didn't want to purchase the same shade. I was like, well, if I already have it, oh well. This is what it looks like. That's the packaging. Packaging is actually really pretty. This is the shade. Looks like that. So do you guys see it? Oh look how freaking pretty this shade is though oh my gosh you guys it does look like blue brown but a softer version do you guys see mm -mm. i'm gonna swatch that right here it literally just makes your skin look wet like so yeah that's that color and these retail for 21 dollars, so they're a little expensive but you gotta have something you gotta have it 
so i've cleaned off my hand because i wanted to show you the last products that i got which was actually from top shop and it was some of their eyeshadows i got literally i got six of them now i was pretty impressed when i saw them in the store um you actually couldn't swatch them but from out the outside looking in they looked pretty amazing and they were on sale so i was like why not well one of the shadows is actually in the shade lunar which is just a deep brown color and it is a shimmery shade but it's not super shimmery and i figured this would be perfect for a night out i actually used a little bit of this on my lash line not too much so um but it's super buttery like oh, they're so soft and then you see the pigmentation so you can see how pigmented that is I'm not too sure on the pricing for all of these because uh, in order for them to take the center off in the store they did have to peel off the price and some of the names but I believe this one was five dollars now the next eyeshadow I got is in this shade here this is one of the ones that doesn't have a name um, but it is actually like a gun metal color um, that is shimmery all the shadows that I got were shimmery I actually didn't see any matte shadows and I'll swatch that one too and um, you can see it looks it looks lighter on camera but it's actually a little darker um, let me swipe it like that do you like the pigmentation in these amazing I believe this one was two dollars oh no 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 actually I'm mistaken I'm sorry you guys the first color this one was two dollars and this one was five dollars now the next one I got was also five dollars and this one is a blue shade I don't have a navy eyeshadow so I thought it'd be perfect and I'm swatching that do you see that it looks lighter I guess it's because of the lighting but it's such a pretty color um, the next shade I got was an army green, not an army green, more of so an olive shade. It's pretty olive color, so pretty. Watch that there. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That name was Oxide, by the way. Now the last two shades are literally my favorite shades. These were actually two of the first shades that I saw and I was like, come here get in my bag <laughs> now these shades were $12 and I'm guessing because they were the best looking ones and of course they were the most unique ones so they had to up the prices on it this here it's not showing up on camera how it is in person but you guys like this shade right here this right here it looks white on camera but it has like a purple slash pink reflex to it maybe if i swatch you guys will see but this is actually the color i have in my inner corners um it looks different it looks more blue in my inner corners um but this is the color i'm wearing and it's so pretty <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see this like i'm sorry camera is not doing it justice here oh my gosh like the camera is not helping at all it's just not showing on camera. I don't know. But this color is a must-have if you see it in stores. I'm so sorry. I don't know the name, of course. Um, this was one of the ones that got the name taken off of. But the last shade I saw from Topshop was a must-have for me as well. This is actually the last thing I have to show. Um, but I'm going out with a bang. This is in the shade Shuffle the Cards. You guys, this is so freaking pretty. This is actually what I have on my eyelids. I'm gonna swatch this one too this is also a really buttery shade um so yeah i don't know if you guys can see it but this is pretty amazing it looks like that i feel as though you can even use this as a highlighter if you're feeling adventurous but yeah so that was all the makeup that i got so that's pretty much it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed and i'm sorry if i bored you to death uh, but other than that, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you aren't. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video.